Thank you very much for your time here. Let's get on to the headlines now. The Finder newspaper reports that over 5 million euros Airbus bribe, which elected government official and brother were involved. That's a question being asked because the court ruling from the United Kingdom didn't state that. Political parties to receive final electronic voters register in mid-October, according to the Electoral Commission's Jean Mensah. Shelve uni pass and demand proving value above existing systems Imani Africa. Malta High Commissioner promises to support Nanado's entrepreneurship agenda. And the Guardian Times, 10,000 employees on payroll illegally. Auditor General vows to remove them if, if what, by the Times and find out. Five Tanochrome Methodist Church members die in road crush. Stories on page three. President Ashanti Region Christian Council raise funds for National Cathedral and halt Unipass takeover of Port Imani Africa urges government. And, um, well, the Daily Guide. Mahama government in 5 million euros Airbus bribe scandal. It comes with a photo of President John Mahama. NDC hopes dashed over new register. High life star Kofi B is dead. And Peace Council under MPP's control, says John Muhammad. That's the allegation that uh, he's pushing them. My guest this morning is the MPP's Kamal Dean Abdullah, is a Deputy National Communications Director of the New Patriotic Party. And also, his, he has his eyes on the Nanton seat up in the north. Kamal, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. How's your weekend? Terrific. And let me place on record that we do not as yet have a member of the NDC when when he joins us, we will uh, give him a seat and announce his presence. <coughs> Come on, weekend was fine. Weekend was very fine. Um, I was up north. Um, okay. Got here last night mm -hmm. and work as usual. You need to wake up at uh, dawn. Absolutely. Um, to prepare for the day to start. Mm. Uh, let me say a very good morning to you once again. A good morning to the people of the good people of Nanton mm. constituency. I want to say a very good morning to them. Of course, running from Tamping to Zhao to Pachilo to Pano mm -hmm. to Guntengle to Pandule to Dohe to Zhang and all those areas. Um, we need a sort of uh, uh, development, more development. Mm -hmm. The President of the Republic of Ghana, who is touring the mm -hmm. Savannah region this morning okay. and also will continue later to tour the Upper West region, mm -hmm. is within that jurisdiction. And of course, I do know that we are doing a good job right. and we'll continue to do a very good job as mm. it were, as a government and um, as a party to mm. help uplift the image of the good people of the northern part of Ghana. Okay. So once again, I say good morning to mm. you and good morning for joining us. The, grounds are, the grounds are good. Are they favorable for you? Well, I, I, I don't want to do much talking <laughs> on it. I just have to concentrate on the work and okay. see how it goes. But trust me, we're going to do a good job. Okay, let's start off from the uh, Airbus, and we're told that Sami Jemfi is the National Communications Officer of the NDC. He will join us shortly. The Airbus and European uh, Multinational Aerospace um, Corporation has admitted paying bribes in excess of 3.5 million euros to a high-ranking elected government of Ghana official who took office in 2009 for Ghana to buy 2 c Two nine uh, five military aircraft. One point six million bribes were not paid. An additional uh, one point six bribe agreed in connection with uh, C two nine five sale in two thousand fifteen was not paid. That brings the total bribes to over five million euros uh, in transactions that lasted between twenty eleven and twenty fifteen. The persons involved have not been mentioned according to the judgment, but we're told that the bribes were said to have been paid through the complex scheme that involved the brother of an elected high-ranking Ghanaian government official, a citizen of the United Kingdom, a Spanish company, and senior executives of Airbus. How did they happen? Well, it all started in 2009, according to the facts presented in court, and uh, in the United States District Court for the District of Columbia. I said the UK earlier, it's the United States actually. It said between 2009 and 2016, an elected high ranking Ghana government official, name was not disclosed, few months after taking office, was in direct repeated contact with senior Airbus executives about Airbus sales campaign. This was later approved by Parliament. The Parliament uh, approved a deal uh, when a high ranking official was in office and Airbus contracts. Uh, the brother of this elected high-ranking government official, 
The documents revealed that in connection with the sales of Ghana between the uh, January 1, 2029 and the Defense and Space Division of Spanish contracted the brother of the elected high-ranking government official to act as third-party consultant for the Airbus during the C-295 uh, sales campaign. Also, it says that elected high-ranking government official was influential in having the government of Ghana approve aircraft purchases and the individual contact Airbus senior executives during the government. So this is what we have on our hands. We're told also that there's a Spanish company that was used as a decoy. Their request for the 1.6 million euros bribe to be paid was rejected. So this is what we have on our hands at this point. And if you've been on social media, it's been awash with accusations and counter accusations and some even speculating names and all of that. We've been joined by Sami JMV, National Communications Officer for the NDC. Sam, how are you doing? Good morning. We're managing. The weekend was great? Uh, we've been working. Mm. We, I didn't have any weekend break. So. You didn't have a weekend break? Yeah. It's wow. been work, work, work. I don't envy you at all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, come on, let me start this conversation with you. This is a story that has hit us. Uh, the Airbus bribe scandal uh, that has hit us. This is as a result of a court, a court judgment. But the court didn't name this supposed government official and already speculations are there that government official one would point to a certain individual, even though the court didn't say. What are your own thoughts about this? Is this worthy of the rumor mail, or as Eugene has written a letter directing that further investigation should be done by the Office of the Special Prosecutor, we should allow for investigations to be done before we start mentioning names? What do you say? <coughs> well, um Thank you very much. Once again, good morning. Good morning to the viewers. Good viewers of um, TV3. Um, good morning to Sami. It's, it's been a while, actually. Um, Hughes. Yeah. When established, mm. after the investigations, mm -hmm. and clearly well established, mm -hmm. that indeed we had some government officials, as indicated by the report we're getting from UK, mm -hmm from Ghana who had their hands in this rather unfortunate, you know, if you like, one of the being one of the biggest scandals in the world. Mm -hmm. Because biggest because when you listen to the report of the deferred prosecution, um, it tells you that indeed the settlement that um, Airbus is supposed to make mm -hmm. is if not the biggest of ever in the world. Mm -hmm. um, I stand to be corrected though. Mm -hmm. So it tells you the 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 the, the, the the, the level at which mm -hmm. the case mm -hmm. or the scandal is. Mm -hmm. When it's established that indeed Ghanaian officials were involved in it, okay. it brings us nothing but international shame. Shame to Ghanaians. Shame to us as a people. Mm -hmm. It brings us again to a point where we need to all wake up and solidly work towards this canker called corruption. Mm -hmm. As we always say, Look, we've always, when you take any party's uh, manifesto, mm -hmm. you'll you see us talking about corruption. Mm -hmm. You'll see us saying that we need to work solidly to nip that in the bud. Okay. All of us do that. As to how we are committed to it is another matter. Mm -hmm. For me, this matter mm -hmm. where a Ghanaian official is described as government official one. Yeah. We just we yet to establish to know we yet to know who is going who, to be who, is, who that? is that government official one. Right. But you see, you can you can you can you can make some deductions. For example, again, the inter intermediary five mm -hmm. mentioned in the report, mm -hmm. where a description was given as mm -hmm. to someone who was born in Ghana, mm -hmm. taken to the UK at a very tender age, mm -hmm. grew up in the UK and at the point had to lose touch with the family as mm -hmm. it were mm -hmm. until later resurfacing to get the links in ghana mm -hmm. who is that person is yet to be established right. but you see like i said we can draw correlations what, what, i have taken what, my what? time to read um my first coup d'etat okay president john dramani mohammed's um ex-president john dramani mohammed's um book mm -hmm. and when you take page 260 mm -hmm. he talks about one samuel who is a brother who left them when he was young, mm. okay, 
taken to the UK by some educationists who were here teaching and when they were going back, the father said, look, take my son away. Mm -hmm. At a point, they lost touch. When you read Trade Sisters, I mean, it's, it's clear you're in his own book. You're putting that... I, I'm saying I'm drawing a correlation. I'm not saying that's not a test. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I, of course, investigation is going to be established. Right. Mm -hmm. But drawing a correlation to this, I mean, making some deductions out of what we know, mm -hmm. of course, one can only comfortably conclude mm -hmm. within your own, you know, if you like, um, um, views that, look, this looks quite a bit linked. Now, taking that story... Mm -hmm. And then tying to the story of who intermediary five is described to be, mm -hmm. clearly, I will not be wrong to hazard a guess at all. That I will not be wrong to hazard a guess that it may, mm -hmm. okay, well be someone who, of course, is described in that book like that. Again, okay, like I said, all these things are, if you like, speculations. Okay, so we are working on so, them. So can I can but, I make an intervention quickly? Yes. If you go to court, for example. Mm -hmm. um, Exhibits are presented mm -hmm. and they are marked yeah. one, two, mm -hmm. three, A, one, whatever it is. Some is a lawyer, maybe yeah. he can help us. Yeah. Is it possible also that government official one could perhaps be an exhibit that was presented in, in court? No, in so the case, we cannot put the cut before the court. In this case, mm. intermediary five is representing a persona. Right. Government official one is representing a persona. A persona. Who we Are don't you know yet. Who we don't know yet. Mm. It's not about exhibit. Right. Okay. It's about, it is an entirely different matter. Okay. And I'm saying that there has been some deductions made. Mm. Okay. And I'm just referring to my first coup d'etat, a book written by former President John Dramani Mahama. Mm. And of course, page 260 of the same book um, tells you who won Samuel. Okay. So in your mind, you know who this well. this government uh, is it, official these is. These are all you see. These are deductions we can make. Okay. These are all speculations out there. Right. But yet to be cemented mm -hmm. by the investigation that the president of the Republic of Ghana has called for. Would you let the investigations finish before you uh, continue with your oh, speculations? Of why? Why? Nothing takes me away from expressing my views as mm -hmm. it were. Mm -hmm. I'm not actually going to jeopardize the investigation as it were mm -hmm. but i'm just drawing a correlation here mm -hmm. of course this is politics and this is political talk we are all on it mm -hmm. and we know what is happening we have we know what happened in mabi injunction you remember that mm -hmm. and how it brought shame to ghana in 2009 same south work court crown court mm -hmm. sat down and implicated some five ghanaians edward lord um ativo mm -hmm. atukwashi mm -hmm. Um, Boniface Sadiq, mm -hmm. Sipa Yankee, and I think one other. Five. And Mabe and Johnson, we all know what Mabe and Johnson brought to us as a people, the shape it brought to Guineans, mm -hmm. to the extent that Dr. Sipa Yankee had cause to leave his job. Those who were mentioned were taken on. Mm -hmm. The same, a similar situation we have found ourselves in today in this Airbus saga. Mm -hmm. Okay? It means the calls by the president for investigations to be launched into this matter, I think is completely apt what would make, and better. What would make a government official get into such a stinking deal? Well, well why? What makes what makes government official get um, go into corrupt corruption? If you like, uh, um, acts as it were. Last, the answer is last. Mm -hmm. Sometime last for money, last for goodies, last for whatever and the betrayal of trust that has been given to you. These are factors that push you into some of these things. To a very large extent, I will mention greed mm -hmm. on the part of some of us who are politicians and even some who are not politicians, some public officials mm -hmm. who are not politicians mm -hmm. go into it as it were. That is why it's a canker. Mm -hmm. So when it comes out like this, we need to unearth the veracity of sin. Okay. We need to speak out and then speak, point to the truth mm -hmm. and then tell Ghanaians that, look, this is the position that we have found ourselves. So for me, the cause by the president for the investigation to be carried on, mm -hmm. I mean, to be carried out, is a very good call mm -hmm. and it's a great call. The collaboration that we're going to see our special prosecutor having with the UK officials mm -hmm. to investigate and get to mention names and bring out who are these, the, who are these, you know, government officials that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. you see, even before the investigation is launched, I read a piece I don't know how authentic that is. Okay, you'll but have it's to be up yes, sir. It's purported to be coming from former Attorney General Marietta Brew. Marietta Brew. Okay. Denying yeah. that such, you know, if you like, um, 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 <laughs> you know, bribery issues. Okay. What's your problem with that? Right. Uh, let us get the investigation done. Mm. 
Let's uh, let's allow the institutions to work. What do you what do you say to those who think that look, government is pushing this to Mr. Martin Amidu, who comes to the table with some history about this, where under the Mills Mahama administration, Mr. Martin Amidu had indicated that this Airbus deal needs to be investigated. In the confusion, he was kicked out. Now he's clothed with a judgment that's pointing, you know, with enough evidence. And he is clothed also you with are the power. You to tell me. And also, he's also clothed with the power of the special prosecutor. Now, somebody says that the special prosecutor has been complaining over and over again that he doesn't have what it takes, not by qualification, but by the function of his office to chase the people he needs to chase. And so the president asking him to investigate will be another charade. What do you say? <laughs> First of all, I have not heard um, Matami to speak about Airbus. Mm. I've heard Matami do speak about um I mean speak about um Embraer 190 okay. some time ago. Okay. Okay. Um Airbus is news to me you're mentioning. Right. Mm. What I do know is that the Embraer 190 he spoke about some time ago when he was former attorney general. <laughs> right. Did say or indicate that the then president had cause to call for investigation into the Embraer 190, mm. which of course involved now I mean the former president right. John Dramani Mahama mm. again. Um the Airbus matter who had just come. Officially, we have a special prosecutor. Okay. It's not about Martin Amidu. Mm. It's about the office of the special prosecutor. It's the office functional. Now, that's the, why that's, not? That's the concept people if are If it's reasoning. not functional, you don't even refer matters to it. And this is not the first time the president is referring matters to, for, for matters to be investigated. The matter, he has always said it. And even at the bar conference, he said, look, I will not sit down. Anything that comes to my table and deserves an action, I will action it and make sure it gets to the right quarters for them to look the, into it. The PPA, Same the has PPA been done here. Boss, boss matter is still It's been investigated. It's been looked at. Okay. That we all know he's a lawyer. He understands that, look, it's a process. Mm. You don't just get up and jump to conclusion. That's why no one is jumping to conclusion. Right. Speculations come out. Okay. But you see, let me, let me conclude. Quickly. Let me conclude Let's on this come, matter. Wait, this wait, Airbus wait. matter. Giving you enough time. This Airbus matter. Mm. It is not only Ghana that has been mentioned. Right. Sri Lanka has Sri been Lanka, mentioned. Indonesia. Indonesia, Malaysia has been mm. mentioned. And to the best of our knowledge, it's not only Ghana that has called for investigation or the president of Ghana has called for investigation in Sri Lanka the inv investigation has been called mm -hmm. and the president has called for investigation into the matter mm -hmm. they should look into it okay when you take Malaysia same they are looking into it as we speak today that is why we have laws the laws are not just sitting in our books we need to work and make sure that at least Ghana is freed okay. from this shame okay that is why the president concluded by saying that we should work to ensure mm. that indeed the laws that spells out bribery and corruption, of course, are used. Mm. And when it's in tandem with our laws, and anyone find culpable to that, to that mm. would is supposed or is supposed to face the full rigors of the law as it were. So okay. I think it's just it's just in the step it's step in the right direction. Okay. Sami, the NDC seems to have dirtied their hands according to the MPP's, you know, functionaries, some functionaries, and by the, this court ruling. Is it an opinion you would want to accept, especially following the communique issued by Marietta Brewer Pong? Are you, are you guilty as charged? Thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, let me begin by stating emphatically, mm -hmm. Johnny, that the suggestions by MPP propagandists mm -hmm. and their media surrogates that there is evidence of wrongdoing on the part of ex-government officials relative to this Airbus matter mm. is completely baseless, frivolous, <laughs> and a distortion of the facts. How so? I have taken time to read in detail the approved judgment of the Crown Court mm. of Southwark on this Airbus matter. Right. And like you rightly pointed out, it is very clear that no allegation of bribery, mm. and I repeat, no allegation of bribery has been made against any Guinean S government official. Not even one allegation of bribery. So who is this elected? No, let's, let's move on. Let's, let me, let me yeah, build my right. case. Mm. No allegation of bribery has been made against any S government official of Ghana. Mm. No government official of Ghana has been cited for bribery or any criminal offense. What the approved judgment is saying is that mm. Airbus engaged an intermediary mm. described as Intermediary 5. The Spanish company. A UK, 
a UK citizen with Ghanaian heritage mm -hmm. to facilitate the award of, you know, contracts for the supply of military hardware, right. you know, to them in several countries, including Ghana. And in the case of Ghana, the judgment says that this intermediary mm -hmm. is related to an ex-government official. Elected. Elected ex-government mm. official who was influential, mm. you know, at the time. There is no part of the report which says mm. that this unnamed intermediary mm. related to the unnamed so-called influential ex-government official mm. paid any bribe either to that government official mm. or anybody in the said judgment. Anyone who doubts this or who will challenge this should show me the part of the judgment which says that bribes were paid to the so-called unnamed government official, one, or any person. So who got a 3.5 Can I build euros? my point? Is that ample time? I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going there. Mm. I'm going there. The trip, if you read the judgment, it's clear that it was Airbus which paid mm. those success-based commissions to their intermediaries based on agreements they had with that intermediary, mm. which the serial fraud office of the United Kingdom is challenging. They didn't go through the necessary due diligence and so on. But if you read the said approved judgments, mm. there is no indication that any bribes was paid to any ex-government official. And no ex-government official, named or unnamed, has been cited for bribery or corruption. You are a lawyer. Is, it, so, is it normal for, for a whole proceeding to go on without names? I am coming there. Names coming there is up. good reason for that. And that is why our colleagues from the MPP should know better. <laughs> because if you read the judgment, mm. reasons are given for withholding the names okay. of the alleged intermediaries okay. and the alleged so-called government official one. It is indicated in that approved judgment mm. that because investigations are not conclusive yet, because the alleged intermediary and the alleged, you know, government official mm. one mm. have not been heard on the matter. Okay. Of course, you know the rule. You know, you know one of the rules of natural justice, the mm. auditorium pattern rule. Mm. Thank you. We say that a man cannot be judged on head. Mm. The Crown Court of Southwark came to the determination that it would be prejudicial and unlawful mm. for them to put out the names of those persons because their side have not been heard. And you sit in Ghana r accusing innocent people who have not been named in a report, whose side have not been heard of bribery and corruption. How reckless and irresponsible can you be? <laughs> Even the court judgment mm. withheld the names of these people for good reason. On the basis that their side have not been heard. But and therefore, judgment <coughs> cannot be pronounced against them. Okay. And you sit here, you sit here <coughs> making categorical accusations against innocent people. Listen, this judgment, as we have mm. now, is a compendium of speculations and amorphous pe personalities and, you know, um, nebulous, if you like, nebulous insinuations. That is what it is. A compendium mm. of speculations, amorphous personalities, and nebulous in windows and insinuations. It doesn't wish it, away the fact that bribes it does, were paid. It, it doesn't mm. offer any evidence mm. or fact of wrongdoing on the part of any S government official. It, is that not why the president me, has, uh, has instituted an investigation? But that is where they are reckless. That is where that what that is why I'm saying they are reckless. You are you commence investigations into a matter because you don't have the facts, and you will not wait for the investigations to be conducted and concluded. You are here engaging in an enterprise of what empty insinuations and innuendos. That is how reckless they are. But the bribes were paid. Because there is no indication. Show me where they say bribes were paid. Three point five, as success-based commissions to their intermediaries, not as bribes. Show me which part of the report says that those are bribes. Don't be misled. Was it was it not Airbus's own, you allow me own to testimony make, in no, court? I would deal because they were going to lose four billion dollars. I, I I would deal with that. Right. First of all, we need to establish okay. that no S government official, mm. either in the Mills administration or the Mahama administration, whether named or unnamed, has been cited for bribery in this report. If you challenge me, just prove that to me from the report. That is number one. Okay. Number two, I have also established to you that. The investigations 
by the UK Serial Fraud Office into this matter, mm -hmm. as indicated in approved judgments, mm -hmm. are inconclusive. And that is why the names of the alleged intermediaries and the so-called government official one have been withheld for good reason, because their side have not been heard. <laughs> that is also indicated. If you check uh, section 53 of the judgment, it okay. is there. Mm -hmm. That is also number two. Number three, there is no indication in the said approved judgment that the said contract for the acquisition of military aircraft and hardware from mm -hmm. Airbus mm -hmm. were inflated or that Ghana lost any money through this transaction. Mm -hmm. No indication is given to that effect. No indication that the prices at which we bought the said aircrafts mm -hmm. were not fair commercial prices. So what are we interrogating? In windows and speculations? Look, it is very clear mm -hmm. that our brothers in the MPP are desperate to divert attention from recent conclusively established cases of corruption involving the Kufuado government. That is what they want to divert attention from. They want to divert attention from the stinking corruption scandal of over 600 missing tricycles and over 700 motorcycles under the watch of are President they, they in the Northern region. Are they 600? I thought they were 500. 400. 400. We have mm. discovered that 200 more are also missing. So in all 600, plus 700 tricycles. Where did which, you discover which, that 200 more are missing? Oh, there are media reports. Let's even say 400 missing tricycles. Okay. And to date, nobody has been arrested. To date, nobody has been punished for that clear case of thievery. They want to divert attention from the so-called missing 500 excavators, which was impounded by the, uh, under, uh, by the Interministerial mm -hmm. Committee against <coughs> illegal mining. 500 excavators transported at the cost to the taxpayer, at the expense of the taxpayer, have suddenly you know, developed wings mm -hmm. and, and, and flew away. And these people have not held anybody responsible. Nobody has been dismissed, not a DC, not the, the supervising minister. Mm -hmm. Nobody's been held accountable. And they want to divert attention from that. They want to divert attention, more importantly, from the nepotistic self-seeking tax waiver granted President Kufuado to his own in-law. We'll talk, ab we'll talk about that. Dr. Nyan Sam, Techi. Sam, Sam they, uh, I'm coming. Oh, come that on. is you what they want no, to no, divert no, no, attention Hold on from. for me, but Sam. You see, but you Sam, see, Johnny, before you Sam, come in with you your see, question, let me this, make this, this point. This, mm -hmm. uh, this intermediary, uh, you have been accusing the MPP of family and friends. Mm -hmm. This intermediary is a relative of an elected government official who served under the Mills Mahama administration. Who is the intermediary? Are you not, are you not guilty? Who is the intermediary? Are you, are you denying the fact that there was a... a an elected government <laughs> official? My brother, I'm saying who? Your okay. people, your viewers want to be educated. So who am, is the intermediary? I am reading uh -huh. section 53 of the report you quoted. Uh -huh. It says, between 2009 and 2015, an Airbus defense company engaged intermediary five, a close relative of a high-ranking elected Ghanaian government official, official one, as its BP in respect of the proposed sale who of engaged three military transport who, no, aircraft. No, read that again. Who Ghana. engaged the intermediary? A number of Airbus employees knew that Intermediary 5 was a close relative of government official 1, who was a key decision maker in respect of the proposed sales. A number of Airbus employees made as prom or promised success-based commission payments of approximately 5 million euros to Intermediary 5. Can I please False please? documentation Johnny, was created by or with the agreement of Airbus employees in order to support and disguise guys these payments the payments were intended to induce or reward improper favor Can I by proceed? government official one towards airbus payments were eventually stopped due to the arrangement failing the due diligence processes required by the liquidation committee can i can i proceed? is this not clear enough hold on can i proceed what you read indicated that payment was not made relative to that particular transaction mm. number one the name of the said intermedi intermediary was not given. Okay. Number two, from what you read, it is Airbus which engaged an intermediary, not the government of Ghana. Mm. Number two. Number but three. But the government official was influential. It was Airbus which engaged an intermediary. Mm. And the report is saying that that intermediary was related to a government official. But official it was is not, influential. It is material mm. that it was not the males or the Mahama administration which engaged an intermediary. Okay. And I am telling you, I, I have checked with um, several of our appointees who have occupied that ministry that it was never the practice okay. that we acquire military hardware mm. for, our, uh, for, for our military and other security agencies through intermediaries. Okay. And so if a private company dealing with government chose to engage an intermediary, 
based on a contractual arrangement, you know, they, 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 they came up with. Mm -hmm. And there are allegations of bribery or allegations of wrongdoing, mm. allegations of lack of due diligence, mm. that is what you read, right. arising from that contractual agreement. Mm. It is entirely the business of Airbus and not the government of Ghana. Now, the point I am making here is that we need to tell our brothers in the MPP mm. that from the Bosgate scandal, where five million liters of contaminated fuel was, were sold in breach of law and the proceeds misappropriated by this government, to the National Lotteries Authority scandal, where mm. in one day, 11 contracts were awarded to the sister-in-law of the CEO of National Lotteries Authority, to the Australian Visa Fraud Scandal, mm. to the Galamsey Fraud Scandal, where a presidential staffer was caught on tape as starting bribes to promote, you know, Galamsey by Chinese, and so on. President Akufuado has proven to be the biggest enabler and promoter of corruption in the history of Ghana. He has proven to be the most corrupt president in the history of Ghana. And that fact is buttressed by the recent afro barometer survey findings, which says that 53% of Ghanaians say that corruption has worsened under President Ekufuado. That is buttressed, that is buttressed by the latest CPI of Transparency International, in which Ghana dropped two places. That is buttressed by the fact that so far, President Akufuado's best ever score under the CPI, the most reputable and internationally recognized corruption index, mm. his best ever score of 41 is still worse than the worst ever score of President Mahama. You have you have debt on your of hands, 43. and you are listen, pointing accusing fingers. Listen, listen, there is no debt on our hand. Can I, can I, can have I, we been I, accused of bribery? Between, you see, let me, let me ask you, you this. Are, hold on, you are a professional. Okay. Hold on, hold but, on. But I'm asking, and, and I'm taking a strong exception to some of these comments you are passing. <laughs> you are a professional. You are not happy see, that I'm, I'm asking these questions. No, if you're asking questions, then that is fine. But when you say you have debt on your hands, it is a fact. You have read a report, and I mm. know th that you... I, I mean, I don't, I, I don't doubt your, uh, your professionalism so, so when it comes to this. So what's the point of No allegation mm. of bribery or corruption has been made against any S. Mahama official in the report you read. Okay. Mm. So it is not fair. It is not, fair. It is not okay. right for us to do so. Right. Okay. The point I am making here... Sam, because up. you gave him uh, ample time... Rap, no, no, no. no. Sam, Sam, I'm giving you, so let me wrap I'm up. giving you 10 minutes. It's okay. Let fair, me wrap up. Fair no, that no, I share let, let, let me wrap up. No, you see... 30 seconds. I want to look into your and cameras and, 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 and speak to our audience. You see. To take these baseless allegations coming from the MPP with a pinch of salt. Because these were the very same people who mm. came to them in 2016 and told them that President Mahama was corrupt. He had inflated the Ameri deal by over $150 million. Uh -huh. And if elected, they were going to abrogate the deal. They came into office. They couldn't establish anything of evidentiary basis to that effect. Mm. They ended up, President Tekufuado himself, himself, ended up giving executive approval to a so-called Ameri Mitilineous Novation Agreement, which had been bloated by an amount of $800 million. Okay. These Thank are the you. very people, I'm concluding, who accused President Mahama for, of spending $10 million mm -hmm. on the printing of uh, presidential diaries, on bloating the Kaswa Interchange Project, the Ridge Hospital Project, the Kumase Airport Expansion Project, okay. and all that. <coughs> Until date, Johnny, not a scintilla of evidence has been adduced by them oh. to buttress any of these things. Yatia bread, okay. like that comes with Come on. Empty Come talk. Come on. They Sammy. are the most Sammy. corrupt Sammy, thank you. people, group of people Sammy, thank you. on the face of the planet as we speak today. Sammy, and they you. have no business pointing accusing fingers at anybody Sammy, for corruption thank on you. the basis of empty in the window speculations. Thank you. On Come on. on Step the name Please, a single S government official no, no, right. I, I, who has been accused I mean, of bribery in this I mean, report. I mean, they are I mean, wasting our ears. We are not interested Thank in that. Come, Let's come talk about the Nyan Techi. You know, that's come on. Same. Sami says you have no moral Scandalous rights well. to, to, deal. to call them corrupt, even though the Ghanaian people will be disappointed that this happened on their blind side. You have been in government what for, you have been in government on for three years. First of all, first of all. With all the verbosity trend that Sami decided to do, he ended up on one thing. Which that is? no names are out yet. Right. Get me? You can appear verbosed, use all the big words, mm -hmm. nebulous, innuendous, whatever. <laughs> name whatever names that you want to say. Mm. See, and my point is that with all these big words, you ended up saying that, look, yet the report is there. However, 
names have not been mentioned yet right. is a going concern. Not just that. It's instructive. No one has been allowed to be allowed. That, not that, the point that of alone is instructive. That tells you mm. that the president of the Republic of Ghana we have now, okay, mm. who indeed is a colossus when it comes to the law, when it comes to rule of law as well, mm. is someone who understands it, says, look, our institutions in collaboration with UK institutions, look into the matter for us to bring finality to it or closure to this matter. Mm. It tells you that we are on the right trajectory. My point here is that we sit here and you have said that we are accusing the ex-government, if you like, the ex-administrations, um, mm. administration of Atamals, Professor, Professor Atamals, and administration of John Dramani Mahama. Right. And we sit here and we are doing that blindly without any support or no, without any uh, you know, evidence. It's so simple. My good brother. Tell me. What we seek to do and to say is that, mm. is it the fact that the administration of John Dramani Mahama is cited in this report or not? Mm. Fact. Ah. Wait a minute. The administration of John Dramani Mahama mm. is cited in this Airbus matter or not? Yes, it's cited. Is it also a fact that the administration of Professor Mills is cited in this matter or not? Yes, it's cited. Is it also a fact that the intermediary five that the report talks about is a person or not a person? It's a fact that is a person, but however, the name is the not name out is yet. There, right. Is it also a fact that the government official one, elected one, is a person mentioned in that report or not? It is a fact. You concluded by saying that, yes, indeed, these are mentioned, but no name. Then... Which it means that nobody in your administration is cited. And I'm saying that is wrong. That is wrong. We cannot mislead people. How, how, logically, how is that wrong? Excuse me. Logically, mm. government official one in the indication here is that is a person cited in that administration. We're right. here to establish who the person <clears throat> is. But it doesn't take away the fact that there is a person in there mm. who, of course, accusing fingers are being pointed at. Somebody says now, the company now, now, Airbus now, SE brought in an intermediary, so it is not the doing of government well, that the that, intermediary was the said they contracted intermediary I had on the basis on, of commission. The said intermediary I had earlier on explained to you mm -hmm. the description given to that said intermediary. And I sought to do my own correlation right. by saying that I had read a book written by the ex-president. My first coup d'etat. Okay, my first coup d'etat, mm -hmm. page 260, which indicated that one Samuel left them when he was young, and of course, the report was not wait a minute, there there is is please. Like book. Oh, check it. Go ahead, check it. You have not read it. Then it would indicate the same. Then, of course, the same story tells you that a young man who was born in Ghana, brought to the UK, grew up in the UK, lost touch with the family, at the point in time, is the one they engage. This tells you there's some correlation. You know this for I, a fact? Yeah, for a fact. For a fact. You should go read the book if you have not read it. So why are you, you, why are you investigating that if you know, now, now, if you know now, the people? Now, why? Well, I'm saying that this is my This position. is your personal, not your party's. But the investigation is yet to go on. Okay. So and this is not your party's position? No, this is okay. not my party position. Sorry. This is my correlation. Okay. I'm developing that. I'm saying that he sits here and talks about some 400 bikes, 500 bikes, 600 mm. bikes. When he doesn't even have the figures anyway. And then, of course, but want the to say, are and want to say without evidence that one should be right. It should pass. But the because tricycles are missing. Now, it's a big Listen, listen. Hughes, Hughes. 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 Allow, allow me Hughes. to do Hughes. my work. Hughes. But come on, the tricycles are missing. The excavators Hughes. Hughes. The matter on this table right now is about the Airbus SE matter. Okay. Who tells you that indeed some administration or Ghana has actually been if you like uh, mentioned and it brings us international important. shame. Mm -hmm. It brings us international shame and I'm saying that under His Excellency John uh, uh, Atamos mm -hmm. John Damani Mahama was the Vice President Chairman of the Armed Forces Council if you agree. Okay. When he became the President indeed Government official one for me, I have to, we are yet to know anyway. But elected government official one, mm. one gives you one. <clears throat> you should also make your deductions and get to know what that what that means. Mm. But you see, he talks about corruption. I admitted earlier on by saying that look, all of us mm. as actors in politics, we all come out to speak against this canker. We all say something about it. Mm. NDC, MPP, PNC. I name all the political parties. We do some. What are we doing about it? Where do we go so from clearly, here? That's where the do question. we go from there? Mm. So, point is, when a matter like this comes out, we need to investigate, get to the final conclusion of it. Mm. Then we we'll take a direction to move on. He says, President, um, at a, uh, President Ananado is what? Is corrupt. Mm. Interesting. For the first time, when the President of the Republic of Ghana was asked whether or not you were corrupt, he couldn't give a straight answer. Mm -hmm. 
He doesn't say John Dramani Mahama. Are you corrupt? You're asking us whether you're as a human being or as whatever or as president or whatever. Those things were there for the first time. But when Nanado was asked whether he was corrupt, I've never been corrupt. Straightforward. Tell me where he's been corrupt. So it's not, no. it's not on the basis of Again, 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 again. It's not, you see, he wants us to politicize it. We'll let's not politicize it. it. And I'm guess, let's, let's and help I'm, the people and of I'm, Ghana. And I'm, and I'm saying that. Do you, do you know if government has put a timeline to this investigation? Because this is. Oh, no, no. I mean, for example, the, the matter of PDS, 30 days was given. Mm -hmm. Do we know if there's a, a duration given within which the government holds this investigation? The correspondence that came from the director of communications of the government has said that there was a duration within which the government holds this investigation. The correspondence that came from the director of communication, mm -hmm. okay, or the release that came from the director of communication of the presidency, didn't indicate any time frame or okay. timelines. Okay. What all we do know is that an investigation is going to be launched into it. Okay. But you see, Fresh in our memory is Jida. Mm. Fresh in our memory is Sada. Okay. And the okay, so also Fresh in our memory minutes. is Embraer 190. Okay. Fresh in our memory, of course, is, 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 is the Bass branding matter. Mm. Where Ativo, okay, I don't know whether the Edward Lord Ativo mentioned in the Mabi and Johnson is uh, related again to um, Jifa Ativo. <laughs> I'm here to know about that. Right. Of course, Ativo herself told us that, look, if you vote us out, these people will lock us up. Why? What did you do? Knowing it's, very it's well three that bars branding has been, been banned. It's been three years. Matters are there for us to cite. It's been three if years. If you sit here mm. and I sit here, it's and been we three all years. Who are you go. locking Why? up? Why? Why? People are in court. I, can I? People are in court. Okay. Over thirty people are in court. Sami, take your take your two minutes. Over thirty ah, people are in court. No, no. So, so, no, no, no. It's two minutes. It's two minutes. So, to conclude, I tell him. Don't do that. You give him How much? If it's corruption, Mahama administration mm. clearly is said to have been very corrupt okay. i didn't say that martin amidu is not mpp okay the former president of the republic of ghana jerry john rawlins mm. is not mpp okay who said that thank over 60 percent of the appointees of Mahama administration were thieves thank you that was clear thank you so you sit here today and say you are clean as white as a white sheet or clean as a white sheet Trust me, that is you singing your own praises. But all of us know for a fact mm. that the NDC is very stinky when it comes to corruption. Thank you. Okay. Sami, take, take, um, your, take your two what minutes. What I know mm. and what the good people of Ghana and the world know is that the NDC has been out of office for the past three years. Mm. And they cannot be an utility. Allow him. Allow him. And no, till no, date, yeah. Allow him, please. President Mahama has remained squeaky clean. Mm -hmm. In spite of all the allegations, the frivolous allegations of corruption, <laughs> which have been made against him by Airbus the Patriotic Party, mm -hmm. no evidence, as we speak now, mm -hmm. has been established. Evidence of corruption has been established against President Mahama okay. or any of his appointees. And so you can sit here, make noise, and say what you want. But the facts will expose you that indeed, apart from cheap tokenism, mm -hmm. which is what you are dabbling in currently. Mm -hmm. You have nothing evidentiary to buttress your claim that President Mahama is corrupt. If he was corrupt, I'm mm -hmm. sure that you would have been, been, have been able to establish support. something against him. Okay. Again, it is clear from the Airbus conversation we are having this morning that no accusation, I repeat, has been made against any official no, of either the Mahama or the Mills administration. Mm -hmm. It doesn't yeah. exist in that proof judgment, it is their own creation, it is their mm. own invention. Mm. And I am daring them <laughs> that if they say, because they have the report on their phones, they can read those relevant portions to show <laughs> where any S government <laughs> official was accused mm. of bribery. Okay. Johnny, apart from that too, Rap it is clear. No, can please, read some messages. no, please. You gave him, I think I deserve equal time to make How much time? I mean, I'm not sure you because you gave him you ample know time to make his point. Oh, and I think I deserve two If you don't want me to talk, I you can take your time. No, 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 because this is unfair. You just came to me. I've been sitting here. He's been speaking for the past six minutes. No, no, no. I'm not speaking to you. Come on. Please, please. I am not speaking for two minutes, 30 seconds. I am not speaking to you. Allow me to make Two minutes, 30 seconds what I gave him. Please, it is not true. Allow me to make my point. So, Johnny, nobody has been named, no official has been named. Mm -hmm. What Kamal Dean and his likes are engaging in is that they are inviting all of us mm -hmm. to interrogate innuendos, insinuations, and speculation. Mm -hmm. that is it. They have not been able to offer any evidence Who is government official one? to substantiate that any S government official mm -hmm. has been complicit in any bribery or corruption scandal relative to this matter. Mm -hmm. Again, Nobody has been able to prove in this conversation that Ghana lost a dime 
in the acquisition of the said aircraft. And that for me is very material. Again, the inducement. Well, allow, allow, come talks out. about international well, shame. Come out. You had your time. He kept quiet for what, you. Allow what, him. What, what, what international shame does Ghana suffer if an approved judgment by the UK court says that a UK company bribe. paid, not bribe, it's not in the report, bribe. paid success based commission. Go and read the report. <laughs> there is nothing like bribe. To their intermediaries, their intermediaries, mm -hmm. not gov government of Ghana intermediary. That is what the approved judgment says. And you say that that is so, a matter of international shame for Ghana. If you, want, if you want to talk about international shame, talk about the fact that ambassadors of these same Western countries not too long ago in Ghana oh. had cause I mean, no, no, to no, no, call no. out President Ekufuado for the increased spate of corruption right. under his watch. Right. To the extent that a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. he was busy threatening ambassadors in this country. To desist from you know criticizing his government for corruption. He says that is the international shame. If you have evidence, pre say, present it. Is it a fact or not? What is the meaning of this? Allow me. When you were speaking, I was here. Samir, you didn't allow me. Samir, the president said, if you have evidence, present it to me. Ah, that is not what I'm talking about. Is it a fact or not that we have had the U.S. ambassador, we have had the Australian High Commission, we have had other ambassadors openly, publicly decry the increased spate of corruption under the watch of President Kufuado. That is a classical case of international Thank shame. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Please, okay. read some okay. messages for us. Okay. 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 We'll come back. We'll come back. We'll come back. We'll come back. Let me conclude on this come part. On. 30 seconds. We spoke about investigations. Mm. We have a record mm. of mm. comments. Coco says your microphones are off. <laughs> your, your microphones are off. <laughs> yes, sorry right. about that. It, let let us read some well, messages. Well, it does appear that the Airbus judgment is uh, dominating mm. comments this morning. Yeah. Awa Mohammed is writing to oh, us from Macro. So it says, indeed, the approved judgment of the Crown Court of Satwalk approving the DPA between Airbus and the UK Serious Fraud Office does not allege that any payment was made by Airbus to any Ghanaian government official. It is therefore a gross distortion of, uh, th for the media to conclude that officials of uh, the Ghana government between 2009 and 2015 were bribed. Walanyo is writing to us from Akutia, says Madam Marietta Brew is doing the nation very great disservice. Why doesn't she file an appeal to challenge the UK courts with the so-called facts she has? What is her press release all about? To raise the truth as usual, so the UK judge lied or the Airbus company lied when they admitted paying bribes to Mills Mahama government. She should not always take Ghanaians for granted and punch hole into her little integrity she owns. My best regards as always to NS Yakumi. Uh, this one is that the colossal damage caused the image of corporate Ghana by this stinking Airbus scandal is a really worrying situation. We cannot sit aloof and watch NDC dent Ghana's integrity in the international fronts with shady deals. This is a clarion call to all in making sure that they are not brought close to the seats of government anytime. So this is from Kwesi Reynolds in Agona Ado Bing. This one is good morning. Uh, TV3 Crown Court did not did a poor job for failing to mention the Ghanaian officials involved in the scandal. In law, we don't just deal with hearsay but cogent evidence david from sandema charles nyame is writing to us from asaman he said in reality john mahama has proven to be uh, incorruptible his strength has always been his honesty and transparency all the math thrown at him by the mpp was just for political expediency thankfully today history is judging him very uh, uh, very right with his come back becoming so imminent. Good morning mm -hmm. to you all out there. I really enjoy your shows day in and day out. Thank you. And may your, our musician Kofi be uh, so rest in peace. But my concern is that NAPCO CEO and the finance minister are not helping her workers at all. Or is it because they are not in payroll? That's why they are de delaying in payment of their trainees. So please see with your voice out this message. All right, we will. This is sim simply, uh, if Nyanchiti could collect money on behalf of Nanado, then this Airbus is similar. Gideon from Kutubabi. This was good morning, TV3. Why this rush for investigation on the Airbus allegation by President Nanado? Is he looking for corrupt equalization? The president could have done better. This is below the belt, Philip. Yin from Tongo. Johnny, good morning. I think the MPP wants to divert attention from their numerous corruption cases, which no one has been 
prosecuted by the special prosecutor, the tricycles, motorcycles, PPA, PDS, YEA, visa scandal, etc. The president should do what he told us that made we give him the job now. Uh, this is from uh, Shaq from Dan Soman. We'll take a few more. This one is from Raw inside Newtown. Bribery and uh, corruption is right from our roots. I say that because the number one institution who are to stop this are all over our roots and office doing same. I always say that anytime a new law is passed, the police become happy because indirectly it enriches their pockets. Good morning, New Day. Although John Mahama's name has not been mentioned, but it was his administration that was involved as a vice president and later a president. I'm sure he's had to take the heat just as Sami Jinfi is blaming presidency when there have uh, been several acts of alleged corruption under this administration. Brookman Anobil from Mataiko. This was a good morning, TV3. I have some few questions to ask. Does the facial recognition uh will clear the manual verification or not uh, i'm not sure if facial recognition brought in and somebody got an accident and he saw her eye got lost will the person qualify to vote during the voting day number three our phone that we use some uh use facial to open uh the food during the voting day our phone that we use some uh it's not so clear but i'm sure your question is about the compilation right. of the new voters he's, he's worried he's so worried some. about thank right. you Atanam. he's mm. worried about no, uh, uh, uh the fact that no no hold on he was he was airborne <laughs> allow him to land uh, come out he was airborne allow him to make, land. Atanam, thank you very much thank you. johnny i'll just make two submissions mm. so one of the things you do on this program new day is that you inform and educate our audience right. There is a matter in dispute. I have stated categorically that no part, there is no indication mm. in the approved judgment of the Crown Court of Southwark on this Airbus matter mm. that bribes were paid to any S government official of Ghana or the said government official one mm. or anybody you for that matter. So there is no. Huh. And this man. My brother Kamad in sitting here has been disputing that. You have the report. He has the report. I will plead with you for the sake of our audience to challenge him to read the portion of the judgment which says that bribes were paid to anybody. It is very important. Mm. Secondly, we in the NDC, we have a record of investigating allegations of corruption. And even when our own appointees are found culpable, mm allowing for prosecutions and punishment to take place. Mm -hmm. And the Jida scandal involving Mr. Bugapele is a classical example of wow. that. Okay, we have that commitment. And so we will not shield anybody, whether NDC or MPP, who is found to have engaged in corruption. To that extent, uh, any investigations into this matter mm -hmm. is welcome. But let us tell President Akufuado that even as he, con he, con it, con he conducts investigations into this matter, mm -hmm. he must tell us how he gave executive approval to the merry miscellaneous deal which had been inflated by an amount of 800 million dollars okay he must tell us why he has doled out a whopping 136 billion ghana cities mm -hmm. to his in-law for the construction of a hotel project which offers no benefit for the good people of this country that? yes evidence we have a, a cabinet we have a letter from his executive secretary to that effect it's on my phone and we have 24 million uh, 24 million dollars equivalent to 136 billion Ghana cities given to his in-law and appointee for the construction of a so-called Pullman Hotel project at Airport City, a project that offers no benefit to the taxpayers of this country. He should tell us why a presidential staffer who was caught on tape taking bribes is still working with him at his office, Charles Bissou. He should tell us why Pius Hajide, who supervised a stinking Australian visa fraud scandal, has been cleared and whitewashed by him. He should tell us where the 500 missing, missing excavators and the 400 missing tricycles are. He should tell us why all his appointees, <coughs> errant appointees, who have engaged in proven cases of corruption are still working with Thank him. Thank you. Until your they do that, they have coming. no moral authority to talk about corruption. Okay. And still, the fact still remains that Ghana has not lost anything through this transaction that we are yes. discussing. Mm. No, no, Neither no, no, has bite. any official mm. of the ex-Wal Mahama or Miss Regina Thank you. been named 
or been cited for bribery or any offense in Thank this you. report. If he says, I am lying, let him read it. Investigations are ongoing. We're told that the, read it. a letter from the presidency signed by Mr. Eugene and Director of Communications has a push investigation. So we're hoping for the special prosecutor to deal with it. But come out. He makes a very strong, yeah. that he should read strong, it. strong, uh, strong allegation that your government, for example, has given $24 million tax waiver to uh, the president's in-law. In -law. Yeah. And Sammy, allow me to do my work, please. Sorry. Is there any truth to it? He says let he me, has let me, let me, let me, let me, let me stay put on the matter, put on the table for us to discuss. Okay. He mentioned okay. that, so I'm, I was just no, no problem. But I'm going to stay put on the matter that we are discussing now. Right. Is he... Is it a fact that uh, answer the question? Is it true? Allow him. Sammy, allow him. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Two or four. Yes, we said you answer. Allow him. You answer when? We agreed not to allow. tackle Sammy, each other. Sammy, allow him. Me. I said we agreed not to tackle each other. Sammy, allow him. I am just Sammy, listening to you. Sammy, 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 Okay, mm -hmm. in the sense that they paying are told or paying based commission whatever to their intermediaries, their bribes, okay. they have been found bribes. No, it's only a fact that a government official one who okay. elected government official one is cited in this matter. Okay. Therefore, is the there any investigation is so important. That also okay. I am saying that if you say one and you say you are an alternative to that, there okay. any okay. such mm. you are not. So called that because because did the government, did the president give waiver, tax waiver to his relatives? I am saying that. You see, they they are they are known. For spewing out falsehood ah, and like lies, they allow him. You they know, let him answer the question. Falsehood and lies is their trademark. That's how they are. Okay. They sit here, concoct a story, move on. You go into the matter. It's hey, neither here nor there. But I'm saying I can that. Prove. I'm All saying like that. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. They sit Johnny, here and they give you falsehood, and then you want you to. Nobody is listening. Thank you. Sami Yenfi is a national communications officer of the National Democratic Congress. He's also a member of the NDC's legal team. And Kamal Din Abdullahi is the national communications director of the NPP and NPT. And Kamal is Kamal is also going to Nanton. Kamal, you are going to Nanton, aren't you? You are going to Nanton. <laughs> okay, you are supporting. Okay.